asylum seekers who were living in a Glasgow hotel where six people were stabbed yesterday say the attacker warned he planned to hurt people the day before he struck. The Knightman's believed to be an asylum seeker from Sudan. Meanwhile, one of those injured, Constable, Constable David White, an officer from Police Scotland, is now in a stable condition in hospital. He's been praised for his bravery. Alexandra Mackenzie reports from Glasgow. The cordon remains in place around the Park Inn Hotel, a grim reminder of yesterday's multiple stabbing. Armed police arrived within minutes, shooting dead the attacker. He's believed to have been an asylum seeker from Sudan, living in the hotel during the coronavirus lockdown. Siraj was also living there. He said the attacker warned him that he wanted to hurt people. To be honest with you, before he did that, he said that to me. He said to me, I will attack. I, was, I thought that he was joking. He said, no, it's fine. Not, you don't need, he said, I hate them. They hate me. And, and in that night, I complained to the, to the, to the hotel reception. And they, the, the man in the reception, he said, I will take it seriously. And he made the complaint. I did, completely, I didn't imagine that he will attack him the next day. Others described him as quiet and said he struggled with life in the hotel. I was so surprised because to me, I didn't know that that guy because he's so quiet. I didn't know that he was able to snap. Constable David White was one of the six people who were stabbed. He is in a stable condition in hospital. Two members of staff at the Park Inn Hotel and three asylum seekers who were staying there were also stabbed. They're all being treated in hospital. Scotland's First Minister said, my thoughts today remain with Constable White, whose bravery we're all deeply grateful for, and the other people who sustained injuries in yesterday's terrible incident. She wished them a full and speedy recovery. The Scottish Refugee Council said it was devastated by what happened. Alexandra Mackenzie, BBC News, Glasgow.